Robotic surgery has made a huge splash in operating rooms around Central Texas, and now surgeons are able to use robots on younger, smaller patients. Joining us today is Dr. Danielle Sweeney. She is the only robot-certified pedi pediatric surgeon to explain how these robots can literally save a child's life. Good morning. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So what kinds of surgery are you using the robots for? Well, I'm a pediatric urologist, so my practice is basically limited to doing kidney reconstruction, bladder reconstruction, and pelvic reconstruction in, in children. But there are a lot of applications for uh, general pediatric surgery as well. Now, how do you introduce robots? I mean, I'm sure there's a huge learning curve in just trying to get, you know, the arms right and, and all the other pieces right. Sure. Well, in my training, we I did extensive laparoscopic, pure laparoscopic uh, surgery. And then when this new technology developed, uh, it was actually very easy to sort of um, just apply this new technology after learning the basics. So yeah. it, it's just, it's very intuitive um, and it's just, it's, we're just really excited to be able to offer it to the children of Central Texas. Awesome. Tell us what we're seeing right here. What, what kind of surgery is uh, this? This is basically a kidney reconstruction, and you can see I'm sitting at the console there uh, controlling the robot. I think one of the misconceptions is, is that the robot does the surgery, and that's just not really the case. The surgeon has to be in con is in control of the robot and, and directs the arms at all times. Um, but this is just a general, this is the console that we sit in, and um, the robot arms, as you can see here, is doing the surgery inside of the patient. Wow. Now why use a robot instead of just by hand? Why? Well, to do this type of surgery, you would actually need a fairly large incision. Um, and in doing it with robotic surgery, the incisions are only uh, you know, eight millimeters in size. Plus, the arms are so precise that you actually take out the element of the human tremor. Um, and um, the magnification of the, of the camera is actually much better than the human eye. Um, so it really is just much more precise surgery. And talk about the recovery, too, for <coughs> children. Is it better than having uh, you know, the, the by hand surgery? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <coughs> Because our, our incisions are so small, um, my patients are able to leave the hospital the next day. Most are back to school within a week and resuming normal activities. And so that's a real plus for parents and particularly kids who just want to get back to being a kid and doing all the fun stuff that they're used to doing. Uh, yeah, running around being Absolutely. a kid. Absolutely. Wow. Now, how young are you, have, uh, have you used it? How young um, is the I've patient I've used this uh, technology in children as young as two. Um, there are some general surgeons that are actually doing it in newborn infants. Wow. Um, so really, there's just a good uh, range of, of ages that we're able to use this technology in. And we're can people find you? Um, we're at Children's Urology, so uh, we, our practice is located outside of Dell Children's Hospital. Uh, they can find us at uh, uh, childrensurology.com. Excellent. Thank you so much for oh, being well, here, you. Dr. Sweeney. Good, Appreciate good, congratulations it. Congratulations on your new technology. Oh, thank you. Very thank interesting. You. You're welcome.